So today a quick video making an LED retrofit for a tiny indicator tungsten lamp which goes into this holder and then it goes into a panel in this. I have some bad ones so I just smashed one and then I also crushed the cement out of it by gently squeezing it from around using these and now it's hollow, just the base. I cleaned it inside, the tip remains. You can desolder the wire from here, this was originally in it. Then I'm using this bit of a circuit board, double sided, which goes in. And this tiny circle of a circuit board, double sided, one side of it has one cut, the other side two cuts. So it's basically like this. You can make this notch using a saw. And this side will go on to this, and the other side has the LEDs on it, four of them, and these tiny yellow SMD LEDs, and these are soldered on it this way. And here's the schematic of it. This is bidirectional, so it can work on AC, but also DC in either polarity. In each polarity two LEDs light up, when this one is positive this one lights up and this one, and when this one is positive this one lights up and this one. It's always lighting up on a diagonal, so it's not off-centered. Let's test it. This is one diagonal, this is the other diagonal. This of course the LEDs are soldered using this. What else? Now a wire is soldered into the tip. Now this piece of a circuit board is about to go in. A bucket of rosin, a bucket of solder is needed. This is way more solder than needed, but it looks nice. The important thing is the tip is connected to the wire, but the shell is not shorting to it. Of course I made this gap for the resistor. Let's solder this on top of this gap. And this wire continues through this notch onto the LEDs. I've put the resistor in place, 1.78 kilo ohms. I like weird values of resistors and now of course a cleanup of the resin disaster. Some methanol and a toothbrush. Nice, it looks way better. And of course testing time, and it works well. All for LED lighting up. And inside of this, which goes into the panel, nice, let's put the cover on it. It illuminates nicely, and the comparison to the one with the tungsten lamp in it. And of course the LED is much brighter, despite drawing just a tiny fraction of the power. The tungsten lamp is using 2 watts, the LED 40 milliwatts, 50 times less or just 2% of the power. LEDs are more efficient but also more directional. The tungsten lamp is throwing the light in all directions, even where it's not needed. The LED lamp is getting about 10.8 volts from the transformer and draws about 3.5 milliamps. And by the way, these are phosphor yellow LEDs, more efficient than standard yellow, and they have a wider spectrum, so they can also work with a red cover or a green cover. These are not monochromatic yellow, these produce a whole spectrum from red to green. So that's it, and if you like my videos, please consider subscribing, supporting my channel on Patreon or using the thanks button, and big thanks to all of you who already support me. And it goes into a nice box. And a long video with some tubes and some audio is coming. And I also plan to test this 120 watt charger from AliExpress. And I also fixed this heater which went into the other channel.